Okay, all right. Now, I know this is uh, 1030 in the morning, but we can do this, okay? So, everyone, good morning! Good morning! There we go. There we go. I know everyone has had some coffee. Good. Um, my name is Anna. I'm going to be just uh, moderating this panel, obviously, with the wonderful Emily Osmond. Um, so, just a couple ground rules before we get started. Um, as you can see, we have a couple mics over there. Uh, you guys are going to get to ask her uh, all of those wonderful questions that you've just been dying to know. Um, so you can go and line up at those uh, mics for these questions, okay? So you can go ahead and start if you'd like. Um, we're going to try and limit it to one question per person to just start, and then uh, if you see that the line's getting short again, we have another great question, then go ahead and get back up and you can ask another, okay? Um, one more thing, uh, just when you are asking those questions, just please don't ask for like hugs or selfies, that kind of thing. Um, Emily is actually going to be in the exhibitor, exhibitor hall on the first floor, and she's going to be doing autographs and photos and all that good stuff uh, there if you want that with her, okay? You guys feeling good? Yep. Yeah. Yeah? You guys feeling awake? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Awesome. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so everyone, I need you to start with a slow 80s clap. Slow 80s clap to get started. Yeah? All right, if you're feet in the hall, give it a little bit of a beat. Give it a round of clap for that.
remembers him and remembers a bunch of our crew that has worked with her in the past. And she's just awesome and very crass. That's great. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Uh, do you have any like specific memory of like when you were working with her? Is like that kind of like oh, solidified yeah. who she was in your mind to you? Um, well, the first thing she ever said to me, we, we do a table read on Mondays. Um, if you have a very, our Mondays are pretty short. We just all sit down at a table like this and we read through the script once. It only takes about an hour and a half. And I was sitting next to her and she didn't even introduce herself. She just leaned over and she goes, we need to do something about your skin. <laughs> I realized it was a compliment, but at the time I was like, oh my goodness, you know, with Monday morning in a chat, I think to But she was, she's just very funny, and she called me a bitch one time, which was great. <laughs> um, because she says, she, she was like, honey, you're, you're just like me. You have blonde hair and blue eyes. That's, that's what we call a bitch or something. <laughs> that's like, right. okay, cool. Who knew she was a comedy writer as well? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, awesome. Uh, another question? Go ahead, just raise your hand. I'm very entertaining, I swear. <laughs> I answer any question, you have not any question, but yes. Hi, uh, Hi. We love Young and Hungry. We were just watching it last night <laughs> during the oh, cool. uh, entertaining and like just cheers cheers us up a lot. Okay. Uh, I'm wondering, uh, in real life, are you really like Gabby, who is very bubbly, optimistic, and just do whatever she wants? I do do whatever I want. That's um, <laughs> true. Did you want to read? Yeah, read yeah. So uh, she's talking about Young and Hungry and the character Gabby, and she wants to know um, how much like you are to Gabby um, as being bubbly and fun. Um, I, I don't think personality-wise we're very similar. Um, Gabby, uh, she's a little frantic. She's all over the place. Uh, she has her heart in a good place, which um, I like to think I do as well. She's. Um, She's definitely on her own path, but she needs the support of everyone around her constantly. I think by herself, she, she would be a lesser person. I think she's nothing without her roommate, Sophia, and with um, Kim Whitley, who plays Yolanda, and even with Rex Lee, who plays Elliot. I mean, I think they very much are a team, and they, they work together through all of their problems. And uh, I think she's definitely a team player, but she has a, a, quite a few outlandish um, uh, pranks that she tries to pull to make things happen for herself. And so she definitely thinks outside the box. Um, but uh, I think I'm, I'm more st uh, straight-laced. I don't know how I would, I'm sort of more like streamlined. But yeah, she's a little all over the place. <laughs> that's good. I hope. That's good. I think, yeah. I'm here on time. Gabby would not be here on time. <laughs> <laughs> Next question? Yeah. Do you stay in touch with any of the cast on Catalonia? I do. Yeah, yeah. When you work on a show like that for, five years and it wasn't just our show it wasn't just Hannah Montana it was like every show that was on Disney Channel at that time I mean we weren't just with our core group of people on that show we were with you know the Sprouse Twins on Sweet Life and, and a bunch of other shows that were going on at that time so I'm still close with a lot of people um, I just saw Jason Mills like two days ago in um, I just saw Chelsea Kane with Chelsea Stopper who was on that Jonas show for a while like we all still we all still kind of live pretty close to each other so um, a lot of us still talk and hang out, and it's weird. It's like high school. It's very fun. Yeah. So is that is that how it's set up? I, I I never realized that that like the different shows were they all in the same um, kind of area. We, actually, um, Hannah Montana was shot on uh, a soundstage that uh, like at a studio that no other Disney show was shooting at. Everybody else was. Um, uh, it's hard to explain if you don't live in LA, but we, we were kind of far apart. But they would bring us together for like the, the Disney Channel games, and we would do promo shoots together, and they would they would constantly they would do this thing called like the New Year's Eve party for Disney Channel every year, and we would do that in like October, and uh, we would just see each other a lot. Um, and we were all kind of the same age, and um, yeah, we, we hung out, and we, I still talk to them. Is there anyone that you're super close with still? Um, it's hard to say. Um, um, not, not super, super close, but yeah, I, I just, like I said, I just saw Chelsea Kane a couple days ago. She's very, very sweet. It's nice to like hang out with people when you're like in your 20s and be like, remember when? Yeah, that's just very strange, but yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's good. We have someone standing in the mic. Hey! <laughs> you're the first. You should get a prize. <laughs> anyway, Emily, I want to ask, because Disney Channel re recently did a sequel to That's a Raven, Raven Song, does it like... Do you ever think yeah. that Disney Channel will ask for a Hannah Montana sequel like five or ten years from now? Would you, any of you guys ever want to reprise your roles? That's a, that's a good question. It's a question I've gotten a, a lot. And it's, it's funny.
funny because I, I can't, I have no idea whether they're going to do that or not. I, I mean, I think it would be very cool and I think it would be something very great for the fans. I think the fans would love that. Um, and I think it would be um, like a science experiment to get us all back together again. Um, but I, I think it'd be fun. I, I'd definitely be into that. I, I just, I don't know if it's in the cards, but we'll see. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Um, so, generally for entertainment on Disney Channel, how is it different from when you first came and when you first arrived at uh Disneyland, I mean, I mean Disney Channel spe specifically, sorry. <laughs> Nervous breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm a little confused by how... Um, how is the entertainment in general, like uh, Disney Channel had changed a whole, uh, um, like now, compared to sure. when you first... So I think Disney versus new Disney, is that what you're asking? Yeah, old Disney Channel and new Disney Channel in general, that's what I'm... Sure. Well, I think um, the, the biggest thing that's different about just entertainment in general now than it was, you know, when I was like 13 is that social media plays such a huge role in a lot of shows and promotion and it's it's like the other half of promoting a show. You, you watch it on TV and you, you know, you see commercials for it, but then you're also on Instagram and Twitter and all these things like, you know, when, when's the next episode going to air? I'll just go on so-and-so's Twitter and find out. It's, it's different now. It wasn't like that when I was when I was working originally on Disney Channel. It was like I didn't I didn't have I didn't have MySpace, I didn't have Facebook, I didn't have any of that. It was actually awesome to go through high school without any of that. Because um, my mom wouldn't let me. Uh, but it was it was great. And it's it's just weird now. It's almost like it's part of your job to do that, which is strange. But you know, it's a better way to connect with people who watch the show. So do you do you find yourself kind of begrudgingly tweeting or it's not, or I mean, it's like, not begrudgingly, but uh, even coming here, I mean, when when I got the email and the invite to come do the San Francisco Comic Con, they were like, can you please tweet at least three times with the thing? I'm like, yeah, like of course I'll do that. But it's it's such an interesting like part of marketing and promotion now that it's just required. It's very strange. It's weird because I'm not. I don't know I have that much to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> You should ask Betty White. <laughs> 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 um, you guys, it's awesome. That's, that's <laughs> so an accomplishment. Cool. I remember waking up getting a notification like screenshot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Back here in the, the cool ass. Thank you. Um, I have a question. Um, did you find it hard to change your acting style to something like darker, like with a movie like Cyberbully? Was it hard to transition to like depicting yourself in a way that was in a more, much more serious or scary or like difficult in the sense of what's the word for like a non-happy role. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a good question. I mean, I had just come off working. If, if anything, it's uh, technically it's a lot different because I had just come off working on a four-camera sitcom for you know five years and then transitioning back to film, which is what I, I've always wanted to do originally. Um, but it's it's just a different environment. Working on a film is so different, and uh, you can really take your time with the character, which I really appreciate. Um, and it wasn't difficult. It was actually really exciting because I had been looking for a role like that for a long time, and uh, it just really spoke to me, especially at that time when we were just like, sort of on the precipice of like all that social media that was happening. I was like, this was like six years ago. I think it came out. Um, so it was before a lot of that really online bullying started happening. It was right in the middle of it, and I thought it was such an important story to tell, especially since, like, my mom's an elementary school teacher, and, like, I, I have social media. I know what it's like to see things you don't like on the internet. And it was such an important story to tell, and I stand by it so much because it's just so easy to be nice and people forget that. But I, I really enjoyed making that film. I, I still think it's, it's, it's one of the best ABC family movies I think they did. It was really, really good. We had a great director. It was very fun. Not to do my homework, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, so do you, do you kind of see yourself doing more film if you kind of had your, your yeah, choice? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, it's it's strange to, I, I didn't think I would be back doing a sitcom again. I, I didn't think that would happen. And then you do one pilot season, and then you drop out of college, and then there you are. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's weird to get back into that groove again, because I, I always thought I was going to do film, but... Um, this has been such a blessing in disguise, and I have so much fun on the show, and, and we really all, we all have a really great time. Um, but I'm looking forward to sort of doing more things after we find out if we finish season six or whatever might be in store. So it's nice to like, 
you know, also sort of see the end and now, okay, well, maybe we can fix my camera. Uh, what, just curious, what were you studying in college? Um, I was a theater major and a religious studies minor. Ooh, yeah. I like that combo. Thank you. A little, a little crazy, a little, a little, little that. Little, 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 yeah. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. she looking for in the future? <laughs> if you get yeah, something, I mean, I, I think um, anyone that's, um, you know, been doing one thing for a long time, you want to do something that's completely different, um, which is sort of like, in, in any career, you probably feel that way, but um, I, I, I would like to do something um, more pertaining to um, older, older than my, I, I usually play my age or much younger, um, and it would be nice to play sort of someone in uh, uh, it would be nice to play a character that's a little bit older that's uh, maybe in the corporate field. That would be a good change. Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Do you ever sing? Do I ever sing? I mean, yeah. Do you ever sing or do music? Yeah. Do you ever sing or do music? That question is not Yeah. Um, I, I sing all the time. It's very annoying. Um, <laughs> I, I do, I mean, I, I, music's always been a, a really important thing to me. Um, I really enjoy writing music, I enjoy listening to music, um, I enjoy connecting with people through music. Um, I think it's a, a really great universal way to um, just connect with people. I, I think music's very important. And um, uh, I studied music in college, music in high school, and, and I played a few instruments, and I really, really, I do love it, but it's, it's tough to like focus all your energy on, on one thing, and I'd like to record another album. And I'm working towards that right now. I just bought a house, and the house is completely empty. And I'm like, well, this is the time to record. I'll just put a bunch of like. <laughs> it is a studio now. It is a studio. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna maybe think about doing that when I get home. But um, and I'd like to take my time. You know, I, I feel like I rushed into music <clears> pretty quickly and um, didn't really do it the way I wanted to. But now I've had like a lot of time to think about it. What are some of your musical influences? Um, death groups? No. Um, I listen to like all all kinds of stuff. Um, I listen to a lot of classic hip hop, and um, I listen to a lot of old eighties bands. As we were saying, I, I love Supertramp. I was just listening to Supertramp for since. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yes, I love Supertramp. Um, but I, I kind of listen to everything. My my parents are incredibly musical. My dad especially, and I grew up listening to like. Queen all the time and uh, Led Zeppelin all the time and my dad, my dad, my brother will say he introduced me to Radiohead, but my dad actually introduced me to Radiohead um, a long time ago. But um, I don't know. I, I kind of listen to everything. I just turn on case. I don't know if you guys listen to KCRW, but they have really, really good like in music Mondays and everything they play is really good. Um, but I, I'm open to everything really, except maybe country music. But everything else, is really <laughs> I love all music. This is our challenge. Yes. <laughs> The question was, if she could make a guest appearance on any movie or any TV show ever, what would it be? No pressure. <laughs> thinking about one I'm watching right now. Um, I don't know, are you, guys, are you guys watching Ozark on Netflix? Has anyone seen that? It's a Jason Bateman like, directed. Oh, it's an awesome, awesome story, but um, uh, that would be really fun. Um, I want to do something, I, I've always wanted to do something uh, like Deep South, because my Mother and father are from Birmingham, Alabama, and I can really tap into that like, really easily. And I think it'd be really fun to do something like Deep South because I, I never had the opportunity to do that. Um, so I don't know. I, and Ozark is kind of like leaning towards that very kind of dirty Deep South kind of thing, which I like. Which would be fun. I love it. Oh, is that you? Hi. Isn't that weird, like meeting someone that you met on the internet?
kind of a ridiculous audition for Young and Hungry. I'm, um, I don't know if you know what pilot season is, but there's a couple months at the beginning of the year where you just sort of like kill yourself and you audition for everything that's um, coming out. And TV's sort of taking over anyway, so there's so much material and there's just so much to read. And don't tell our creator, but I was sitting in the like audition room, like reading the script, and like, oh my god, I'm like trying to wrap my head around this character, I'm like so behind, I have this test tomorrow, I'm, like trying to get it. And I for, and I went in there and I didn't know that Ashley Tisdale was a part of the production. So I went in there and I looked at her in the room and I was like, what are you doing here? And she's like, I'm a producer. I was like, I knew that. So I was like really, really behind. And I kind of like forgot a couple of the lines or something, but I was just so um, intrigued by how goofy the character was. I thought she was very, very funny and just very confident, but also ridiculous, which I love. Um, and there was this dumb little floor fan. Um, uh, it was uh, like a grate on the floor and it was blowing really cold air and I was wearing this very like, billowy shirt. And every time I would sort of like mess up mine, I would just stand over the fan and it would just sort of like blow my shirt. I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And it kind of worked. And I thought it was hilarious. And I don't think I remember, I don't think I said half the right lines. And they were like, you're great, come back tomorrow. Um, so that was it. So I was actually not so much like um, excited, but more so very surprised that I got the part. So that's that's a tip for anyone that's going out for any auditions. Um, just make sure that there's an event available. Yes, flash the <laughs> producers now. Yeah. <laughs> Spike Kids, your first like breakout role, or did you start out younger than that? Um, so her question is, was Spike Kids uh, the first breakout role for you, or did you start even younger than that? Um, I started acting when I was like five or six, I believe. Um, I peaked at six when I played um, <laughs> Glenn Close and Christopher Walken's daughter in a movie called um, Sarah Plain and Tall. We shot it in Kansas. And at the time, I had no idea how cool that was, but right now I'm like, oh my god, I would do that anything to play Glenn Close and Christopher Walken's daughter again. Um, so you're thinking Hannah Montana resurgence, I'm thinking Sarah Plain and Tall Winters and resurgence. That would be great. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I worked um, pretty constantly when I was a kid and um, did, did a couple guest spots on some, on some TV shows at the time. I did an episode of Friends. It's very funny to like um, get notifications on Twitter like, is that you? And I'm like wearing pigtails and I'm like a little Bobby out, Bobby or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think Spy Kids was my first introduction to like, oh, this is what a like a big budget movie feels like, and like I can eat everything at Crafty and I'll just like <laughs> replenish it, and uh, it was just very cool. I mean, but it's the longest that's um, how do I say this? Uh, it was a very long time to be working on a film. I think we shot Spy Kids. This Spy Kids two took about a year, which is a really long time. Um, but Robert Rodriguez like was funding it himself and had the time and the money and like was having a great time and didn't care. We were in Austin, Texas for like a year. I spent so many holidays there, and I got to hang out with my dad for like a solid year straight. Um, and it was it was really fun. And so uh, I think I've always held that up to be like one of the best experiences I've had on film for a long time. It was it was just magical, very cool. And your your dad is also a performer as well, yes. right? So yeah. Is that kind of part of your upbringing? Was, was that it was almost um, expected for you and your brother to kind of... Not, not really. I mean, uh, my brother was like, I think he was spotted in like an Ikea or something. Like, He's real cute. Bring him to this casting call. And I was like, all right. Um, and then it just sort of fell in line for me too. And he got this wonderful agent. Her name's Meredith Vine. She's really great. And he worked with her for a very long time. She's a youth talent group in L.A. And, um, then I sort of took a meeting with her and went out on a few auditions and uh, kind of got the love for it and it's just fun. It's really fun to be someone you're not for a few minutes and it's, I had a great time. Um, but yeah, my, my dad was a theater actor for a long time in college um, and is very good at what he does and is a very good acting coach as well. Uh, but learned everything I could ever learn about acting through him and then I got to go to college and study theater again in college which was really fun for quite a few different professors that I love there. I went to Oxnard College and found it's, it's a great school. Um, but I, I just, there's so much to learn with acting and to, and to sort of fall in love with something so young, I think it's kind of rare, but to be able to stick with it, I feel very grateful. Yeah. <gasps> Who's your favorite Disney princess? We have to name um, What's, what's um, Amy Greer? What is her princess's name? Elena? Is it Elena? The new Latina Disney princess. 
some voice acting work. Do you have anything else voice acting wise coming up? Oh man. Um, like, I know your brother you just remind me have an audition I have to send. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He wants to know about, uh, about voice acting and mm-hmm. if she has something coming up with, uh, with us. I, 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 voice acting is so fun. It's, um, it's everything you think it is. You go into your pajamas and you're there for like 10 minutes <laughs> and you have lunch and you go home. Um, and it's really easy and really quick, but so much fun. And I worked with, um, I don't know if you know who Matt Jones is, but he was on Break It Bad, like Bad or Break It Bad. He and I did a show together called um, Kick Patowski, which was on Disney XD, which was so fun. Um, and it's just a completely different skill that I didn't realize I would have like so much fun doing. Um, but no, I mean, right now, uh, I, think, I don't know if there's still some Family Guy episodes coming out. Um, I think they're probably all aired by now, but... No, I, I do like a bunch of other stuff here and there, but yeah, I need to get back to that. You're right. You are right. So it's, you just inspired her. Yes. Yes. Also, no, I seriously have to turn that audition. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, do you uh, feel like when you are doing voiceover work or voice acting, do you uh, like find yourself like oh, like doing more physically and everything than when you um, normally would for a yeah? TV it helps. Show? It definitely helps because it's you're using you know one. Thing to give all emotions. I mean, you're just using your voice, and you don't have the like crutch of you know all of your body movements, which I use a lot on your angry. I think most of the time the physical comedy is what really sells a joke. But when you're doing um, you know voiceover, you, you don't have that. So it does actually help a lot to sort of act out everything you're doing in the room because you discover that you wouldn't normally. Projects that are in the works, or are you working on currently right now? I just redid my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> that took forever. Uh, now I'm doing my kitchen, which is taking even longer. Um, <laughs> I, uh, right now, I'm kind of really enjoying not working. Um, 
we did 20 episodes of Young and Hungry pretty much in a row, which is a lot, and especially to do a live audience show every Friday night. Um, it's a lot, and I didn't realize until we were done just how exhausted I was. It's kind of nice to just have a second to like refocus and, and figure out really what I want to do next, and not, you know, age like a president too fast. But it's based in San Francisco. Yes. The first part of the question is, have you filmed anywhere in San Francisco for the show? And the second part is, what's your favorite location to film at, out like anywhere from any anything that you've done? Um, well, we actually we were thinking about flying everybody up to San Francisco to shoot like a full house sort of intro. Um, we never actually ended up doing that, which was so sad because I thought that'd be so cool to actually work in some monumental parts of San Francisco into our intro. That would be awesome, but we never ended up doing that. Um, but, uh, sorry, second part of your question. Oh, um, where, well, unfortunately, we do film pretty much everything on the soundstage. We don't go, we don't see natural light for, like, a long time <laughs> during the day. We're all very ill. Um, or unnaturally damp, Jonathan says. Uh, <laughs> <just kidding. laughs> but we really, really like, um, you know, working on the stage that we work on, but it, it would be nice to kind of go out to the beach or something every once in a while. Although working on the beach is not as great as you think it might be. It's very hot, it's very sandy, uh, it's very windy, but um, yeah, so I'm stuck on the sound stage for now. And uh, she also asked if you could go anywhere to, or like your favorite place to shoot. Oh man, um, that is a tough question. Have you shot somewhere before that you were just like, this is not Well, right. actually, I, I've worked a lot in Canada. Um, I've shot a lot in Vancouver, and I, Vancouver's just beautiful. And um, I've had a lot of fun up there just because it's gorgeous. And I, I shot a movie for, um, 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 I think it was ABC Family, uh, up in Kelowna, Canada, which is um, just beautiful. It's a very, very small town, for like a couple hours uh, east of Vancouver, I think. And we shot up there, and it was just, we were on lake by the hotel. My hotel was like 10 steps from the lake. I would like run around the lake in the morning. It was just beautiful. Um, so that's nice. I'd like to go there. Uh, yeah. Like they will not let you take a directing class until you're a junior or a senior. 
which is stupid because I really <laughs> wanted to take it and I left after my sophomore year. And I was really interested in directing, and I still am, but I, I'm lucky to know quite a few directors in LA, and I, when I get back to LA, I'm going to sort of reach out and start asking around a new shadow, because um, it's such an important skill to have, especially as an actor, just to know how everything works and where everything's going, and, and editing-wise, how that works. One of my really good friends is the editor for Cam Hungry, and um, it's very cool to watch it all come together, so I definitely would like to do that side of it. So. So, when you think of directing projects for yourself, do you kind of lean towards a sitcom? Do you lean towards a film? Well, I probably sitcom because that's what I know. Yeah. And um, all of us are sort of directors on stage anyway because we sort of know how it works. It's a puzzle every week and just figuring out how to fit eight pages in this space, you know, with this much time, with this many characters, and you have to get this prop from across the stage, you have to come back, and you have to exit at one point, and it's kind of like putting together a puzzle every day. And we're all pretty good at it. And it would be interesting to see if we didn't have a director one week, who would die first? No. Um, <laughs> who, like how it would all come together, if we would be able to sort of direct ourselves in an episode. Yeah. Yeah. What is your lifetime goal? Oh, I heard like something totally different. <laughs> <laughs> what is your lifetime goal? Um, but those are those are probably my top. 
come to in the final six. Have you seen all of the um, Indiana Jones movies? You should go home and watch all of those. <laughs> I was about your age when I first watched I fell in love with Nurse Ford. Um, but you need to go watch all of those right now. They're all awesome. <laughs> your homework. Yes. <laughs> and then Hannah Montana again, if you want to. <laughs> about politics on Twitter lately, and I wanted to know what it's like. Oh, um, do you have all day? <laughs> <laughs> also, what are you, what are you dressed as? Rapunzel. <gasps> cool! Oh yeah, you have, is it a toad? Uh, oh, that's a little uh, chameleon. Oh, chameleon, very cute, awesome. Um, there's children here, so... <laughs> the world is a mess, and um, I was very shocked last November, and I remember crying, just thinking about it. It was very, um, a tough realization to see which way our country is going, and I was very heartbroken to see. Um, I was very surprised to wake up that morning and see who was elected, and it's been very tough. Um, so yeah, it's been very hard. Every single day, it's tough. Like, going on the internet and reading what's going on and, and how he's handling it, it's, it's um, traumatizing, so it's been... So yes, I'm outspoken, because why not? And for a while, I was like, well, I should, you know, I don't want to, like, you know, take out one part of an audience that may watch a show that I'm on because they may not, may disagree with something and may say politically, but also, like, it's 2017 and we don't have time for that, and uh, <laughs> things are real bad, and someone needs to say something. Do you, do you feel like sometimes because you are in L.A. and in the performing world that you, you kind of kind of create a bubble around you that is a kind of one way of thinking and um, no I mean I think uh, because I live in LA I, I don't think it's a bubble I think there are so many different types of people in different walks of life in LA and I've seen it all I grew up there and I I know that city very well and it's very diverse and you see all kinds of people in Los Angeles and with all kinds of political views and um, so I, I think I've had a good grasp on you know, how everyone thinks. And I went to a private high school and it was very shocking to see how many people didn't think the way that I thought um, in a very small town. And uh, it's, um, it's weird. It's very strange, yeah. It's um, uncomfortable. All right, we have uh, time for a couple more questions. Uh, yeah. <gasps> What's superhuman power? Is that, is that what you said? Ability. I'd like to stop time. That would be great. I have so much that I need to do. Finish the kitchen. Uh, and uh, I would like to stop time and get a lot more done. That would be great. That's a great one. I don't think I've ever heard that answer. That's oh, really? a good one. Yeah. yeah, but then there's like, you know, you don't want to mess anything up or it's frozen. Step on a bug. What's that, that book? Step on a butterfly and then like half the world is extinct. Right. Um, so yeah, you have to be very careful. But I would just be sort of in my own world doing my thing. You know. So you're not stopping, stopping all the time, just like the time in your... No, no, all the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I get everything done. Yeah. No one can get ahead of me. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Um, other than Hannah Montana, what was your favorite uh, Disney Channel show? Oh, um, I was like super young when That's a Raven came out. I've always loved That's a that show. So much so that, so that my brother would walk in the room and be like, oh my god, turn it off. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I was the perfect age for a lot of Disney Channel, original awesome Disney Channel programming. So I was very stoked. I only wanted to do Hannah Montana because I thought I was going to be a Raven's mom, which I actually never did. Which was <laughs> you haven't missed that. I don't think I have. Oh, yeah. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, yeah, that, that was an awesome show. Yes. All right, last question here. Oh, we'll do two more. Yeah, we'll do two. <laughs> uh, you just said that you were a fan of Fast and Raven. Did you hear Raven has a sequel? Has it, did she say sequel? Single? 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 Oh, I can't hear it. Sequel. 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 Yeah. Is it a, they're doing yeah. another show? They're doing like yeah. a Yeah, Raven's called Raven is now a mother of twins. Brilliant. Twins actually has her psychic powers. Why not both? That's just one twin. Yeah, it's just one twin. That would suck. I think that's where all the drama of the drama of the show is. Um, <laughs> that's, that's very cool. I didn't know that. Is it on Disney Channel? Yes, it is. All right, there you go. Oh, I have plans for tonight. <laughs> um, and then we, you had, there was another hand. Yeah, last question here. Yeah. Uh, so there are more and more actresses, actors, and celebrities opening up their own YouTube channels. Um, so I think it's a great way to share uh, some other contents that we wouldn't otherwise see on TV. Um, you. So um, I think you have great style. You have a lot of passion. 
Don't take this wrong way, but no. <laughs> um, I, I think YouTube is such, I mean, I've learned how to do so many things in my house via YouTube, like my dishwasher stopped working, and YouTube was great for that. Um, but I think that uh, if you, this is my main problem with social media too, if you uh, reveal too much of yourself, it's really hard to go to a film and go see someone in a movie and go, but yesterday they tweeted about blah, 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 while you're watching them, you know, play a different role. So I think I try to keep a sort of private life as much as I can with sort of still keeping up to date with everybody about what's going on in the world, but um, YouTube, it, it, it's like a slippery slope, I feel like. <laughs> Because then I would just, you know, I would just talk forever, and then you would hate me. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, that is our, our moment where we do have to stop. Oh. We're stopping time now. Um, so, yes. everyone, thank you. Join me in thanking Emily Austin. Thank you so much guys, have a good time.